Hello again, class. So, um, the next lesson, uh, day two, uh, is matrices part one. Uh, this is the easier part of matrices, but the the more you understand this part, the uh, better it gets. All right. So let's take a look at today's um, lesson. First off, what is a matrix? A matrix is a rectangular arrangement of numbers in rows and columns. So when we talk about it, right, the rows run this way, and these are your columns, right? So if I look, there's one, two, three rows, then one, two columns, right? So this would have three rows, two columns. And we always determine the size of it um, by using the rows and columns. Now, the elements in the matrix are each number in the matrix. So if I look at this matrix A down here, right? Four is an element, negative seven is an element, five is an element, zero is an element. Now, the dimensions of a matrix, we always say it's rows by, right, columns. So that little x means by. So if I look at this, we have here's one row one, here's row two, here's row three. So we have a three by, here's column one, column two, column three, column four. So you have a three by four matrix here. And um, determining the size is pretty critical. So from there, do me a favor, pause the video, and try example one, A, B, C, and D, and then come back and check your answers. Okay, so this first matrix. Here we have row one, we have row two, column one, column two. So this here is a two by two matrix. Okay, here we have row one, row two, row three. We have column one, column two. So this is a three by two matrix. Here, we have row one, row two, row three, and column one. So this is a three by one matrix. And here we have two rows by four columns, okay? So, first concept, adding and subtracting matrices. If you look, right, all you're basically doing is adding or subtracting um, the corresponding elements of each matrix. So if I look here, this is row one, column one here, right? This is row one, column one here. So what they do is they add those corresponding elements together. Here you have row one, column two. Here's row one, column two. Add those corresponding elements and you're good to go all right so you do that for each matrix now there's one thing the, you can only add them if they have the same dimensions okay subtracting what I like to do is I like to change the subtraction to addition and then just change all of the signs and then just go ahead and add the matrices but the same concept applies so first example here here we have a three by one matrix. Here's a three by one matrix. They can be added. So three plus negative one, plus negative one would be the first element. Let me redo that. All right, so you have three plus negative one, then you have negative three plus five, then you have five plus five, and right away when we look here, you're going to get 2, 2, and 10. All right. Example 2. What I like to do is change the subtraction. I notice I'm subtracting them to addition. And then I'm going to change each of the signs here. And right away then, 4 plus negative 5 is negative 1. 0 plus 6 is 6, 5 plus 1 is 6, negative 4 plus negative 6 is negative 10, negative 2 plus 6 is 4, and 3 plus 5 is 8. And we are good to go there. Okay? So do me a favor. Uh, go ahead and try the next few problems. Uh, pause the video, try the next few problems, and come back and check your answers. Okay, 
So the first one here. 3 plus negative 1 will give me 2. 0 plus 4 is 4. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. Then negative 1. Again, change it to addition and change all these signs. And right away here, 7 plus 2 is 9. 4 minus, or plus negative 5 is negative 1. 0 plus negative 3 is negative 3. Negative 2 plus 10 is 8. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 6 plus negative 1 is 5. And we are done there. Now if I look at this, this, the dimensions of this is 4 by 1. The dimensions of this is 1 by 3. All right, you cannot add these or subtract them, right, because they have different dimensions. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, scalar multiplication. Um, in matrix algebra, are real numbers often called scalar. Okay, to multiply a matrix by a scalar, you multiply each element in a matrix by the scalar. The process is called scalar multiplication. So what happens is you're going to have some number times some matrix here. And all you're basically doing is multiplying every element in the matrix by that scalar. So you'd have right away here, you'd have A, B. Then you'd have A times C, A times E, A times F. And that would give you your new matrix. Okay? So a pretty easy concept. So right here, negative 2 times 4 would give you negative 8. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And then negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. Negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. Now, like matrices, or like regular algebra, order of operations um, happens uh, in the same order with, as with matrices. Sorry about the mumble jumble there. All right. So when I look here, we're doing f multiplying this matrix by this scalar and adding that. Remember, multiplication has to come before any addition or subtraction. So the first thing we have to do is scalar multiply here. So when I scalar multiply, 4 times negative 2, you get negative 8. Negative 32, 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 0 is 0. Now we can go ahead and add this matrix. So now, right away, my final answer. Negative 8 plus negative 3 is negative 11. Negative 32 plus 8 is negative 24. 20 plus 6 is 26. 0 plus negative 5 is negative 5. And we are good there. Okay? So remember, scalar multiply and then do all of your addition or subtraction. All right? So what I want you guys to do is move on to the matrices day, um, uh, day 2, uh, part 1. All right?